Hey, it's Ivan here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna share with you how to include a PDF in your email in System.io, whether you're sending a newsletter or an email campaign, where the first email, you're going to be delivering your free PDF. So I'm gonna show you how to add that PDF. There's two different ways. And also, in case you don't know how to create the PDF, I'm gonna show you how to do that at the very end as well. So stay tuned for that. So now I'm gonna share my screen. I'm under email campaigns. Now you will see that in my templates and coaching membership, I have a welcome sequence template. So I'm gonna to click to this particular campaign and then I'm going to go to this one, this email, just for the sake of demonstration. It doesn't really matter if it's the right email or not. Now in here, what you're gonna do is you have the option to click on add attachment. That's option number one. And then you would click on choose file and then you'll be able to choose the PDF from here. Alternatively, you can also just drag and drop the PDF. So I'm gonna to go to the finder. This is the PDF, nine email marketing tips. I'm gonna drag it. So click on the icon right here. And then I'm going to drag it. And you see, right here on attachments and then you're simply going to release your mouse now when this happens you know that it didn't work so you want to do it again release the mouse let's try one more time let's click okay so here's what happened i didn't have the add attachment set up so you got to click on add attachment and then when you see choose file or drag and drop that's when you do that so that was my mistake so I'm gonna do it again and now you're going to see the PDF right here nine email marketing tips now here's this is now going to be attached and obviously I just deleted it so let me just upload it again okay here it is and now this will be sent now you can send yourself a test email just to make sure you could see the email was sent here while we're waiting for the email to arrive, I'm going to show you how to include it in a different way. So this is option number one. And option number two is that you're going to simply link the PDF, which is my personal preference. Uh, but both options will work. Now, um, what you wanna do is you wanna do something like this. And then you're gonna say, click here to read the free PDF, for example, or the PDF, right? And then you're going to highlight it you're gonna click on this link button. Now you're gonna to need to add a link. Now, what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna create that by uploading to the library. So go to a funnel page, doesn't really matter what page. And then on this funnel page, you're going to add text. Now when you add text, you're going to highlight this. You're gonna click on the link and then you can click on this upload button. Now you're going to drag and drop this PDF again. Notice that the color changes drop the PDF let it upload and then you'll see it right here now you're gonna click on insert and you'll see this link right here now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on command A or control A depending if you're using Mac or Windows and you're gonna click on command or control C and that's again depending on using Mac or Windows now this link if you open up in a new tab I'm going to paste it in you'll see that this is the actual PDF itself that I just uploaded, okay? So now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to system, to the email, and then you're going to paste the URL. You're gonna click on OK, make it bold, and now this is the PDF hosted by system, basically. So you don't need to use Amazon hosting or Dropbox or Google Drive or anything like that. System will host it for you. This is my personal preference on how to do it. Now, you can always attach it as well, but I prefer to do it this way. Now there is a benefit to attaching it, uh, but there's also a, uh, something that's not very good is that if the file is really big, the PDF, it might take a while to arrive. Like even right now, the test still hasn't arrived. So that, because it's a heavier file, it's just, that's just how it goes because you're trying to transfer a heavy PDF through an email as opposed to just sending a link, which is a lot quicker, okay? So that's my suggestion. Now, in some cases, this attachment has a limit. So what are you gonna do with that situation if you have a, a limit and the file's too big? 
So now I'm going to transition to showing you how to actually export a PDF, download a PDF, create a PDF, and also how to compress a PDF so you can send it and it's not too big. So we're going to go to my favorite way of doing it, which is using Google Docs. So you're going to write the PDF. You can see the PDF right here, but it's actually written as a Google Doc. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on File. You're going to click on Download and click on PDF. Now, it will download it right here and it will give it the name that you labeled it right here. Okay. Now, let's just pretend for a second that this PDF is now too big. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to a website called tinywow.com, hover over PDF, and then you're going to click on Compress PDF. This is a free tool. You're going to click on Upload from PC or Mobile. You're going to see the PDF right here. Then you're going to click on Open. It's going to upload the file. You're going to do the recapture if you're on a free plan. It's going to process. And you see it's going to be 32% smaller. So now you're going to click on download and you're going to click on download to device. And now you're going to see it download right here. It will say the same name, but it's going to say tiny wow. So then you want to go and change this name so it doesn't say tiny wow. And um, it's going to scroll to the very top of the downloads and change this name so it doesn't say tiny wow. Call it something else, obviously. Okay. So that's how you would do that. So when you upload it, it doesn't say tiny wow because you don't want that branding in your PDF because that's just going to be weird, right? So now what you're going to do next is I'm going to show you how to create it using Canva. So we're going to go to canva.com and this is an ebook template, which is again, is available in my templates and coaching membership. And I have instructions on how to set it up, how to customize it and stuff like that. This is the ebook. It's a really nice little ebook creation and uh, it's going to save you a lot of time if you were to use this. So um, if you want to check out the membership, you go to runtemplates.com. Now, depending on wh whether whatever ebook you're creating or checklist you're creating in Canva, you're going to click on the share button. And then here you're going to click on download. On the download, you want to click on the file type, click on PDF standard, and that's going to be the best. See, it says best for documents and emailing. And then if you click here, hover over this one, it says flattening your PDF can help you ensure prints properly. So this is good if you're printing the PDF, which is not really relevant. And then this is uh, includes notes. You wanna make sure these two are unchecked. Now you wanna check the specific pages you wanna create a PDF out of. Usually it will be the full page. And then you're gonna click on download. Now we will download the PDF. And again, with Canva, you can't control the size of the PDF, which is why in some cases, it will end up being too big. So you see this says 3.6 megabyte on this file. If you over over here, you will notice the one that I downloaded from Google Docs is 86 KB. This one is 56 when I compressed it. Canva was 3.7 MB megabyte, which is a lot bigger, okay? So that's why you may want to compress it as well, but it's always a matter of testing when you um, upload it here, basically. Uh, the ebook has just arrived, so you can see here this is the test, and this is the benefit of sending it under attachment. When you send it under attachment, it's going to be visible like this in the email, which is actually really handy because it takes more real estate, more space, and it's more visually appealing so people can see it. So that's definitely a good way to do it as well. So when you click on it, they're gonna see the PDF like so, and then you'll be able they'll be able to read it. Okay, so that's a great way to do it. So these are the two ways to do it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So quick recap, just to um, go through what we discussed. So um, you wanna use the attachments, option number one. Option number two, use it as a link and you need to create the link by going to any editor page. Doesn't really matter which editor page. By the way, once you're done with this, you can just delete this thing that you've added so you don't actually need this. And then save that, okay? Uh, and then creating the PDF, you would use either Google Docs or Canva. And if you need to compress the file because it's too big, use tinywow.com. So that's about it. If you have any additional questions uh, about this particular topic, let me know. In terms of scheduling the email and stuff like that in a campaign, I'm going to do another tutorial on that. So definitely uh, stick around to my YouTube channel, subscribe, and check out my system, my own playlist, where I have a whole bunch of other tutorials. That's about it. If you want to learn about those templates that I have and I spoke to you about, go to templates.com And that's about it. I'll speak to you soon.